Welcome to the entertainment news. Do you remember when Jenna Dewan and Channing Tatum broke up? Well, they're not the only celebrity couple that called it quits. This article lists 40 celebrities who used to date, including some A-listers that you may have forgotten about. Take a walk down memory lane with us and see which of your favorite stars used to be an item. Penelope Cruz and Tom Cruise's relationship started on the set of Vanilla Sky, but they only went public during the premiere of Captain Corelli's Mandolin in 2001. The couple broke up three years later, and Cruz revealed in an interview that she never falls in love with someone while working with them. Rachel McAdams and Michael Sheen met on set while filming Midnight in Paris and confirmed their relationship in 2011. The couple never spent more than three weeks apart, but ultimately broke up in 2013. McAdams said adaptability is key in the industry. Actress Mila Kunis and Home Alone star Macaulay Culkin were in a relationship for nine years before it ended in 2011. Kunis, who is now married to Ashton Kutcher, commented on their steady rock relationship in a 2009 interview with Women's Health, saying they grew up together and had their ups and downs but worked through them. Alanis Morissette and Ryan Reynolds, who met in 2002 at Drew Barrymore's birthday party, announced their engagement in 2004. Sadly, the engagement only lasted three years, ending in a public statement. Morissette later revealed to the LA Times in 2008 that the breakup was due to her struggles with love addiction, calling it debilitating. Former Hollywood power couple Cameron Diaz and Justin Timberlake have announced the end of their four-year romantic relationship. The pair met at the 2003 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards and sparked a romance that summer while Timberlake was on tour with Christina Aguilera. In a joint statement, the duo confirmed their mutual split and expressed continued love and respect for each other. In a 2012 interview with Out Magazine, Zachary Quinto confirmed he was dating Mindhunter actor, Jonathan Groff. The Star Trek star was, incredibly happy, and felt lucky to have found a strong connection. However, the couple eventually broke up in July 2013 due to struggles with long distance, according to Us Weekly. Christina Applegate revealed that she once briefly dated Brad Pitt back in 1989. They met through Jason Priestley and would have barbecues. Applegate brought Pitt as her date to the MTV Video Music Awards, but ditched him halfway through the show. Although she never revealed who her mystery date was, Sebastian Bach claims it was him. Cindy Crawford and Richard Gere met at a barbecue in 1988. They tied the knot in Las Vegas in 1991 but divorced in 1995. Cindy said she realized she wanted to lead and walk side by side with him, rather than just following. Salma Hayek and Edward Norton, stars of Frida and Fight Club, respectively, dated from 1999 to 2003. In a 2017 op-ed, Hayek thanked Norton for helping with the script of Frida, which he never received credit for. In 1973, Angelica Houston met Jack Nicholson at his Beverly Hills birthday party. Despite their 14-year age gap, they were a couple for over two decades until he had a child with another woman. Houston described Nicholson as paternal and being on his team. Tom Cruise and Cher's secret past has been uncovered. Cher confirmed on Watch What Happens Live that the two dated when Cruise's career was starting out and she was at the peak of hers. Cher revealed that Cruz was in her top five lovers and that she was crazy for him, and it could have been a great big romance. In a past interview, Ryan Gosling praised his ex-girlfriend Sandra Bullock as one of the best girlfriends he's ever had, alongside Rachel McAdams. The actors dated for a year in 2002 after meeting on the set of Murder by Numbers. Despite their 16-year age gap, their relationship didn't last long but Gosling remains grateful for the time they had together. In a surprising revelation, co-stars Sandra Bullock and Matthew McConaughey dated for two years while filming the movie Time to Kill. Despite initially denying it, Bullock eventually gave in and hinted at their romance. She spoke highly of McConaughey, saying they still have respect and love for each other, even if they are in different places in their lives. 
Janet Jackson and Matthew McConaughey briefly dated in 2002 after meeting at the Grammy Awards, but McConaughey only considered it a friendship, not a relationship. Jackson confirmed in 2006 that they did date but stressed it was only for a short time. Drake reveals he went on one date with model Tyra Banks on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. The two went to Disneyland in disguise, but Drake says it was more of a get-together than a date. Despite this, they remain close friends. Actress January Jones has revealed her first boyfriend was actor Ashton Kutcher, but the relationship ended when Kutcher couldn't support her acting career. In a 2009 interview with GQ, Jones said Kutcher didn't think she was good at acting. Kutcher now only has kind words for his ex, but Jones says the criticism motivated her. Brooke Shields and Nicolas Cage's rumored romance from 1987 has resurfaced. The model and actress attended the premiere of Cage's, Moonstruck, sparking rumors of a serious relationship. People were puzzled as she had just been linked to JFK Jr. at the time. In a past relationship update, Courtney Cox and Michael Keaton dated for nearly six years and even practiced scripts together. Sadly, the two ended things in 1995, but Cox said it was the most important relationship she's ever had. Kim Kardashian and Nick Cannon were once an item, but split after her infamous sex tape with Ray J surfaced. Cannon, now divorced from Mariah Carey, has revealed that the scandal affected him so much that he and Carey decided to abstain from sex until marriage. In Hollywood news, Shia LaBeouf and Hilary Duff once went on a date that was so terrible, LaBeouf says it's probably the worst date they both have ever had. The Transformers actor had a brief fling with Duff, but did not pursue her again after their disastrous first date. Cameron Diaz has forgotten about her previous relationships with big-name celebs like Justin Timberlake and Alex Rodriguez after marrying Benji Madden. Diaz previously dated Jared Leto in a secret relationship that became public, but they split after four years in 2003. Diaz says nothing compares to her husband and all other relationships have slipped away. Jennifer Aniston and Paul Rudd have been co-stars in multiple movies and TV shows. They used to date while filming The Object of My Affection, but now they're just really good friends. Aniston said in a 2012 interview that kissing Rudd on screen wasn't weird because, I've kissed him for years. In 2003, Justin Timberlake and Fergie collaborated on, Where is the Love, and reportedly had a brief fling. Fergie described it as casual, saying they would hang out with, and sync and make out, but they were never serious. Actress Jenna Dewan revealed on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen that she once dated Justin Timberlake briefly after working as one of his backup dancers. The two dated after Timberlake split from Britney Spears, but Dewan insisted she was not a rebound. She described their relationship as being between friends that dated. Giselle Bundchen and Leonardo DiCaprio dated for five years before splitting in 2005. Despite their breakup, Bunchin has nothing but nice things to say about the Titanic actor and wishes him the best. In celebrity news, Vanessa Hudgens and Josh Hutcherson apparently dated after working together on a movie, but the relationship ended quickly. In a recent interview, Hutcherson confirmed they were once an item, but now they are just good friends. No word on what caused the split or when it happened. As per Liv Tyler's interview with Elle magazine, she and Joaquin Phoenix remain friends despite breaking up after dating from the ages of 18 to 21. Tyler stated that she loves all her exes and considers Phoenix and his sisters to be like family. He was her first love and remains a big part of her life and sense of humor. In 1997, Matt Damon and Winona Ryder started dating after being introduced by Gwyneth Paltrow. Ryder was Damon's date to the 2000 Golden Globes, but they eventually split up. However, Ryder still speaks highly of Damon, calling him a greater, nicer guy. In Hollywood news, it has been revealed that Gwyneth Paltrow once dated her co-star from The Royal Tenenbaums, Luke Wilson. Reports suggest the two dated for a year prior to Paltrow marrying her first husband, Chris Martin. While Paltrow is now married to Brad Falchuk, it's interesting to note her past connections in the industry. 
Madonna shocks the world by bringing Michael Jackson as her date to the 1991 Oscars. Speculations arise if it was a publicity stunt for Madonna's documentary. Recently, Madonna posted a throwback pic on Instagram confirming it was indeed a date and leaving fans buzzing. David Arquette claims he and his never-been-kissed co-star Drew Barrymore used to date, despite her denial. The actor revealed the news on an episode of People TV's Couch Surfing, saying, We also dated, but she denied it on Howard Stern. But, we dated, Drew. Heather Graham and Matthew Perry had a brief hookup in 2003, as reported by E! News. The two actors shared a short-lived fling, but it appears that nothing more came of it. Former Disney stars Miley Cyrus and Nick Jonas dated in their teens but never confirmed it publicly. After they split, Cyrus struggled and even dyed her hair black as a rebellion against everything Jonas wanted her to be. I want to look hardcore, she said. She admitted to being in a weird funk after the breakup and needed to take time to figure out who she really was. Alexis Bledel and Milo Ventimiglia, who played Rory and Jess on Gilmore Girls, also dated in real life. Their relationship began in 2001 but ended after four years. Despite discussing marriage, it was not meant to be. It's a fun thing for us to talk about, but that's it, said Bledel. Ryan Reynolds' long list of ex-girlfriends includes his one-time date Kristen Johnston, whom he attended the 1999 premiere of The Green Mile with. The two didn't pursue anything further, and Reynolds eventually married Scarlett Johansson before settling down with Blake Lively. Natalie Portman and Jake Gyllenhaal, who had a brief romance in 2006, are still friends to this day. Gyllenhaal has joked about dating the Black Swan star, saying, she's a vegan, which makes it really frustrating when you're picking a place to eat. In entertainment news, Sarah Jessica Parker and Michael J. Fox reportedly dated in the 80s for a year. However, rumors suggest that the couple's relationship was actually a PR stunt. Stay tuned for more updates. Sarah Jessica Parker and Robert Downey Jr. dated for almost seven years. In 2008, Downey admitted his drug and alcohol abuse led to the downfall of their relationship. She tried to help me. She was so miffed when I didn't get my act together, he said. Jennifer Lopez and Sean Diddy Combs dated for a year and a half in the late 90s and early 2000s. Diddy called J.Lo one of his greatest loves, but their relationship ended due to his infidelity. Kate Hudson's relationship with Alex Rodriguez ended due to his continued contact with ex-Madonna. Despite Hudson giving A-Rod multiple chances to stop, her jealousy led to the ultimate breakup. Hashtag celebrity gossip.